Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I just wanted to do like a kind of best friend inspired polymer clay charm tutorial. And I actually made it into these cute little ghosts which actually join up to make a little heart and I think it's the cutest thing ever. So anyway, I'm just gonna get straight on into it. So to start off with, I took a round ball of white polymer clay and this was just the color like white glitter by the brand Fimo and it is actually glittery. I just rolled that out onto a piece of cardboard so that you could see it a little bit better and I scored out a heart on the clay. What I then did was I also scored out a squiggly line down the centre to almost make a rounded like broken heart type shape and then taking my craft knife I just cut off all the excess clay from around that heart shape. I made sure to take my time on this making sure it was the exact shape that I wanted. What I then did was I took my craft knife just once again and I went down that little squiggly line down the middle making it nice and kind of rounded on the edges and not kind of like zigzaggy like you would find on a broken heart because we do not want any broken hearts around here. So then I just peeled off both of the parts off of the cardboard and I just popped them down onto a tile and what I then did was I took a baby wipe and just kind of smoothed out all the edges and made sure there was no dust left on the white clay. What I then went ahead and did was made two little indents on each of the ghost kind of half heart shape just to make sockets for the eyes and then taking little tiny balls of black polymer clay I just popped these inside each of the kind of like eye sockets and taking my dotting tool I just pressed each one of those black balls in there to make them nice and kind of secure. What I then did was I rolled out a tiny, tiny, tiny little snake of black polymer clay and just cut it into two pieces and I popped one in each like of each of the ghosts in between the eyes to make little smiles. I just kind of shaped that out with my dotting tool once it was pressed on there with my finger to kind of get it in the exact position that I wanted. Obviously I did one of these on each and as you can see in the corner there, that's my dressing gown sleeve. So now you know what I was wearing when I filmed this last night. So that's kind of embarrassing, but fluffy dressing gowns are the best. So anyway, I inserted some eye pins and baked according to instructions on my packet, which was 110 degrees Celsius. And I actually only baked these for 15 minutes as they were very thin. Once out of the oven and cooled down, this footage is actually from this morning, but I just went ahead and added some UV glaze, which is actually UV resin. And I just kind of glazed the whole top half of the charm with this, smoothing it out with my um, paintbrush. And then I used my UV torch, which I got from Amazon to kind of cure that in place. I did both sides with the same glaze, but yeah, I didn't film both sides because I did it in the exact same way. So as you can see, my little ghosts are now finished. You can't really see the glitter too well, but I am going to reduce the kind of exposure on my camera so that you can see it a bit better. And as I'm looking back at this now, it's exposing all of the dust that's inside my camera lens, which is totally disgusting. And I need to give my lens a big clear, but at least you can see the glitter, right? That's the main thing. So anyway, what I then went ahead and did was I attached some attachments to the eye pin at the top of the charms. I just used these little lobster clasps which are on like these like little phone dangler thingies because I think these attachments are perfect as you can kind of like switch them up really easily. You can add them to zip pulls like that little hook you used to get on your phone. I don't actually have one on my phone anymore which is really disappointing as I used to love having charms on my phone. But yeah, as you can see, once you attach the findings on the top, your charms are then complete and they just match up to the little heart it's just so cute and i just love it so much anyway so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in tomorrow's video bye